I think the whole question of whether or not we're hosting uh, is, is old tale. It doesn't make sense. You see, if you go to a university uh, and you pass and you graduate and you have your certificate and you walk away from the university, there's no ways that people can say, I wonder whether you're going to pass. You've passed. <laughs> There's no point discussing it. So, one, we set for the exam for the 2006 World Cup. We're up against Germany, up against Brazil, up against England. We were ranked above England. When I left, we were going to pass. It was 13 to 11, and 5 to 12 that night. It was 12 12. And five past six the next morning, it was 12 to 11. I did meet Dempsey in Sydney, Australia, and in true South African spirit, we said, we are building the future not on the unpleasant experiences of the past, but on the hope that tomorrow will be a better day. So Charles Dempsey, we have forgiven you. Hope you bring your team Australia, uh, New Zealand and you come with them to South Africa to the Confederations Cup. Uh, then, 2010 World Cup, uh, we were announced to be the best in the world. Uh, and now we are delivering the event. The last thing I want to say that tomorrow is on the 11th of, Ju of June 2008. It's exactly two years to 11th of June 2010. On that day, we'll kick off this World Cup. And it is quite appropriate that we run the show today to cover the ground for you to understand that the greatest show on earth is in our country. I was in Beijing and the enthusiasm, the excitement of the Chinese people, the expectation of welcoming the world, of giving the world insight into what is the Chinese hope, dreams and aspirations as they build a new Beijing and a new China. And then we come here, 80% of us want to build this new South Africa, one that has improved infrastructure, uh, hope and a vision for the future, and a small part who's determined to stay in the past. I think we must leave them behind. Uh, we'll find them in 2010 and invite them to wake up and smell the roses in 2010.